Hi everyone, good to reconnect with you on this um, edition of Zandu. Um, I'm building up on the topic five daily Christian habits, and today uh, we looked at uh, gratitude as the first one. The second one we looked at is sanctification. Uh, the third one we're looking at today is consecration, and consecration is simply to set oneself apart for holy use. Um, Again, this is a deliberate and intentional process, and we do this knowingly and deliberately. Um, we do this uh, with willingly and in obedience to the Lord, because we want to present ourselves to Him. Uh, in the book of Romans, chapter 12 and verse 1, uh, common scripture for us, um, Apostle Paul um, exhorts the um, Romans, and he tells them to present themselves as living sacrifices and yield themselves in full surrender to the Spirit of God because it is the Spirit of God who actually makes us holy and acceptable to the Father. It is the Holy Spirit. He is the Spirit of holiness and is the one who, give, who makes us to be holy. This holiness is not something that we achieve by ourselves. Yes, I know we play our part. But more than us playing our part, it is the Holy Spirit who enables us to walk, to become holy, and to walk in holiness. In the book of Romans, chapter 6 and verse 13, Apostle Paul speaking says, Do not present your members as instruments of righteousness to sin, but present yourselves to God as being alive from the dead, and your members as instruments of righteousness unto God. It is high time... It is, a, it is necessary for every believer. These are not requirements for preachers, for people who are working in the ministry, uh, who are full-timers and all that. This is, this is a standard requirement. It's a fundamental requirement. It's a basic requirement for every believer to do this as part of our daily, daily habit. So once we have uh, woken up and we've been we have expressed our gratitude to God for taking care of us during the night, and then we wash ourselves in the blood and with the blood, cleansing ourselves, you know, uh, a thorough cleanse, um, going from, from top to bottom, from inside out, from the crown of our heads to the soles of our feet, from spirit, uh, dealing with our affections, our desires, our longings, uh, you know, our passions, coming into everything that has to do with our, what do you call it, our soul, our mind, our will, our intellect, you know, dealing with that, our emotions and our feelings. Then we come to the body and we deal with our eyes and our sight. We cleanse ourselves with our hearing, with our ears, you know, with our discernment, with everything that has to do with our, with our speaking, our words, our eating and our drinking, you know, everything about our fingers, our hands, every part of our bodies, you know, our chest, our belly, um, all the way down our waist, all down to our legs, to our knees, to our feet. We just present ourselves completely unto God because if we don't do that, we are leaving things to chance. It is a deliberate thing. When we go to the shower, if we do not submit to the water and to the soap, we will not be clean. It is the same principle. It is the same principle that we are just doing a mirroring of what happens in the natural with what happens in the spiritual. Now, when you look at um, 2 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 21, Apostle Paul speaking to Pastor Tim, and he told, tells Pastor Tim uh, that uh, if anyone cleanses himself from being an ignoble and an unclean vessel, and separates himself from contact with the contamination and corruption of sin, and he will then be himself a vessel set apart and useful for honorable and noble purposes, consecrated and profitable to the master, fit and ready for any good work. Some years back, uh, we used to sing a song, I choose to be holy, set apart, for you, my master, ready to do your will. I think because of time and the way years pass, some of these songs get forgotten 
And these songs are keys. You know, they are keys of purification, of sanctification, of consecration, of us separating ourselves. So we have to do this on a daily basis that we are separating ourselves intentionally, deliberately, knowingly, willingly, and in full obedience to the Lord because we are His. We are no longer our own. We have been bought by a great price and it is up to us to hand ourselves over to the Holy Spirit uh, because He does not force Himself on us. He, we have to be willing and we have to be obedient for Him to work with us and to work through us and to work for us. So I urge you that in the name of Jesus, as we build up, as we build up on gratitude, as we build up on um, sanctification, and then we get to consecration, uh, we now are building up well so that we can get to the next level so that in the name of Jesus, we have these daily habits as part of our lifestyle and we go from glory to glory in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen.